welcome to a John Leg Fragrance Review. You know, I'm so pleased you've come to this channel. Thumbs up would be amazing. Subscription, that would be awesome. I do appreciate everything. And the comments, send me a comment and I'll always try and reply. So I'm excited for this one. I really am. I'm bubbling over because I've got to tell you about an amazing, significant and awesome fragrance lovely describing words okay let's do this you know what this for me is a hobby i don't get paid for this every single fragrance i review i have bought with my own hard-earned cash you know no no suppliers send me them to review occasionally i'll borrow them from friends and colleagues but essentially everything i review i've paid for so this for me is just sharing a hobby with you Okay, let's talk about Amani Code. You know what? That is a winning formula. Launched in 2004, you've got your citrus, your floral, your leather, your sweetness, um, and your woods. And you know what? It is amazing. In fact, hands up anyone who doesn't like Amani Code. Oh, yeah, you, sir, is that your hand up? Oh, no, sorry, you're just scratching your head. Okay, there is nobody who doesn't like Amani Code. Right, next question. Hands up, who is disappointed with the original Amani Code and its current performance? Oh, okay, okay, everyone, put your hands down. Hands down, okay, bad question. Over the years, reformulation has killed the original black bottle of Amani Code. But... They saved the day because more recently they've launched some what we call flankers or versions of the original. Okay, so you have a Marni Code Perfumo. That is everything turned up with a nice leather note. Um, and it's sort of, for me, that's the strongest of all of the Amani Codes, the Perfumo. More recently, there's then this one, okay? So you've got Amani Code, where is you? Uh, Absolute, and you know what? This one, oh, this one's absolutely beautiful. It's still got the winning formulation of Amani Code, but they've added a few other notes. They've turned the Tonka sweetness up, and they've added like, um, instead of the leather note, it's more of a suede note, and this one, wow. This one gets the job done. And because it's in its sort of first formulation, it's fairly new, it's still the strong one. You know, in five or six years' time, this will be reformulated and this will be weak. That's the way they do it. Okay, Amani Code Absolute, that's a wow. Now, I was uh, <clears throat> online shopping some time ago and I came across another one. And I thought, it's a lot of money. Okay, it was around about £70 for 110 mil. <sighs> Should I do it? It's got a similar name. Here she is. So it's Amani Code Absolute Gold, and it's obviously an de perfume. Yes, I clicked and I bought it. Okay, I couldn't resist it. So here we go. What do you get with this one? Oh, I'm excited. Right, first of all, you get the same sort of bottle, um, but it's all sprayed gold, so I'll tell you it's a slightly different version. Right, let's do this. <laughs> this one is, I mean, if you think Absolute is awesome and beautiful, this one is even better. Now let me try and tell you the story that my mind goes through when I smell this one. Okay. It's about 90% the same as Absolute, which is awesome, but it's almost like the ingredients got together and said, right, we're a winning formula and we need to keep it that way. We, in fact, we need to improve. And they've looked around at other fragrances and said, what other note could we have in here to make it even better and you can imagine the meeting and, and, and they're putting hand up what about the uh, the iris note in dior hom yes and they all say yes 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 we need the iris note from dior hom and someone else says what about the sort of saffron note in baccarat rouge 540 and they all went yes that's what we need so they sort of Whoosh. iris note from dior hom the saffron note from Baccarat Rouge 540, 
And instead of them just joining the party, but being sort of stood up the corner as like, you know, not involved, they come in, the Irish note from Dior Hom and the Saffron note from Baccarat Rouge 540, and they join the party and the party is in full swing. Now, let me tell you, Code has always had an amazing array of spices, but you put the saffron in there and those spices are literally dancing around. They're partying. Those spices, with the inclusion of the saffron, those spices are like, it's given them like a new lease of life. And with the iris note, which is what I love about Dior Hum, which is now in this one, it sort of changed it into like, a, if there's a winning formula, a real massive winning formula. This one, trust me, okay, if you spend 70 odd pound on this one, you will not regret it. In terms of performance, it's amazing. I get a sort of solid four or five hours of a good projection, then it drops down to a skin scent and I reapply it because I just can't live without it sort of thing. <sighs> Man. So what you lose is this from a sort of a Marnie code is the leather note. You still got that sort of sort of hint of suede sort of leather, the, the nice soft leather. There's still a little bit of woods in there, nice some light woods. The citrus is still amazing playing there. But the the Dior Hum Iris note, which they've imported into there, it doesn't come in straight away. It's almost like a Marnie Code Absolute is on main stage and the other notes that join it just take a little bit of time to get absorbed and then suddenly that party is in full swing. This one, absolute gold. Trust me, it is amazing. Okay, now, I can't stop smelling this, this is my current addiction, seriously. And the thing is, you can't see how far you are down the bottle because it's fully sprayed with gold. I've had this a little while and I bet I'm halfway down. Right, okay, so it's not readily available. In other words, boots and your sort of high street uh, retailers, they don't really have this one. I had to shop on Nottino's, okay? It was around about 70 pound for 110 mil and for me, it's an instant wow fragrance, okay? I'm absolutely blown away with this one. And I've sprayed it for quite a few people and they all just go, oh, that's amazing. So it's love at first sniff, right? I really appreciate coming to this channel. I really appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully you will be as excited by this fragrance. You know what? There's loads of Amani codes, but I'm thinking this one for me, they may well be the best Amani code, okay? So hopefully you think the same. Drop me a comment, let me know. I'll always try and get back to you. Thumbs up, subscribe, stay safe, spray fragrance every day. Take care and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.